The history of American Polarizers goes back to the early 1960s, and in 1978, my family bought the business. We do a bit of everything. We do glasses, we do parts for radios, we do parts for the Army, aircraft windows. Things get shipped to um, Europe, Dominican Republic, I think Puerto Rico. And we sell into all sorts of industries, from avionics to sensors to 3D applications. 3D today and, and the movie industry, they'll take a certain image and they'll shoot it in a left-hand image and they'll shoot a right-hand image, oriented differently. Here's possibly a character and this is a different character. We have customers coming to us with different problems by taking our existing materials and adding maybe a new material or taking multiples of old materials and putting them together. We basically develop a new product. And we've made uh, filters, circular polarized filters, that went into in front of the displays inside the cab for a train to make the display more readable for the, uh, for the engineer. Every one of your phones probably has a piece of this film in it. If you take a piece of this film and you, you cross the, the axis to it, it completely turns dark. We set up the water jet, then we actually put the weights on so the product doesn't move for it to get clean cuts. I love manufacturing because we get to innovate. That's what brings me to work every day, is solving problems for customers and coming up with ideas how to make things. Definitely seeing the uh, end product, seeing that your hands built something. You built it, you saw it from start to finish, from the raw material all the way down to it getting shipped out the door. Basically taking their problems, their challenges, and working with them to figure out the next phase. So we're constantly developing more parts for different companies. I would say my favorite invention is something that I'm working on right now. And it, it's sort of also a culmination of everything that I've learned and done over the years. Manufacturing is still exciting, guys. It's just the innovativeness of it all. So at the end of the day, when you go home, you have something that you actually made that you can see and touch and feel. And that to me means a lot.